I'm so, so excited. So, gonna give you a second to join. Here we go. So excited. It's 4.30 Eastern time. It says they're letting everyone know that we're live again. Oh, already have some viewers. Thank you all so much for joining. Okay, here we go. So, in a second, I'm gonna bring on our very, very special guest. Um, but for those of you who are just joining, I hope you've been enjoying the Glam Behind the Glammies live so far. Um, this has been such a, a really special event to plan and to work on, and I'm just going to give a second for our next guest to join. She's going to be joining us all the way from California, and uh, it's going to be really fun. And if you looked at the schedule, you'll know what it's going to be. We're going to be making some... We're going to be making some... Uh, rose gold milk tea lattes and uh pink matcha i'm not making them claudia is gonna be making them but i'm super excited so i'm gonna give her a second to join so if you are just tuning in um the glammies is may 30th and you're all invited it's gonna be virtual so you don't have to leave your house don't have to go anywhere don't have to travel to new york city all you have to do is sit on your couch put on some hot pink and uh we're gonna be going going live and doing that. So I see that our special guest just joined. She sent a request to be in the video. So before I bring her on, I'm just gonna introduce her real quick. So in case you're wondering who I am, I am pop singer songwriter Christina Lachaga, the girl, the big pink. Oh, wait, actually, let me just let me have a review. <laughs> let me let her join. Here we go. Claudia's about to join. Hi, Claudia. Thank you so, so much for joining. I'm so excited to have you. This is so much fun. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. This is really exciting. This is actually my first time doing a live. <laughs> really? Oh yes. my gosh. You'll have to do more after this. I, I honestly, I think that you're going to be a natural with this. So, um, for everyone who's joining, um, I'm pop singer songwriter Christina Lachaga, the girl with the big pink heart. Um, I am an ambassador for Glam Regals, which is an organization that is based out of New York City, um, and it's uh, 100 chapters across the country, 1,300 volunteers, and counting. And um, they go, the volunteers go to senior centers across the country. They do makeovers and manicures for the seniors that are living there. And today we are doing the Glam Behind the Glammies. So what normally happens is the girls will come to New York City for an event called the Glammies, where they are honored with scholarships, uh, five winners that are high school seniors. And uh, it's a really incredible event. And um, usually before the Glammies, we have a pre-Glammies mocktail hour. So... Who better to join us than Claudia from S3 Coffee Bar? And she's going to be showing us how to make a rose gold milk tea latte and a pink matcha. I honestly wish I were in San Diego right now. I would drive my car through your drive through and I would get both. So. <laughs> I wish you guys were here too. So I pre made some of the items in here just to make it a little bit easier since yeah. we're trying to do the social distance. I don't want to be at the bar, so I'm like over here secluded, like really far away from the exactly. espresso in the bar area. Yeah. So, do you want me to start right now or wait a little bit? No, you can, here one second. I'm just going to hit, I forgot to put in the comment that says what we're doing. So, if anyone's joining, oh. now they know. I'm going to pin it. There we go. So, if you're just joining, you can see what we're making rose gold milk tea latte and pink matcha. Okay, Claudia, it's all you. Okay. Perfect. So you start off with a cup. We have our own brand of cups right here. And we do our own honey syrup. And we add a little bit of the rose infused syrup in there too as a base. Because we really like layers. And you need something high in viscosity in order to keep the colors on the bottom. Okay. And then next, which I already pre brew it. And we brew it like overnight just to make sure it's nice and cool and it has that nice pink color that we want so this is a toasted almond beet tea so we get our color from beets so like toasted beets yeah and it almost tastes like a chai so it has a little bit of cinnamon apples it has a little bit of toasted almond and the beet too for the color so that's gonna be our first layer i just pour that in to our cup and I stir it a little bit. 
That looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love um, toasted almond flavored anything. My mom actually made a um, like a little a little pound cake and she iced it. We had the, we had some some uh, strawberry and icing and she put some uh, almond flavoring in it in the oh ice. My God. It tasted so good. Next, I'm gonna add ice. Okay. And the secret is two layers is the more ice you add to it, the better the layer. So okay. I'll ice the cup. Okay. And the next layer, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do this so you guys can Yeah, that's it. perfect. And next, I have some milk in here. So I have whole milk in here. Okay. It's the best for layering, but I personally love the almond milk. You know, and it'll layer just as well. You guys are welcome to use almond milk. And you can kind of see already that you have the layers at the bottom. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so what we want to do is take spoon and just swirl it a little bit because okay. we want like an ombre effect. Yeah. See how pretty it is right now? So, that like, is no harsh lines. What a pretty so that ombre. And then... After that, you're going to put a little bit more of that toasted almond beef tea on top. Okay. That third layer. So we want to make sure we put it all the way to the top. Yeah. And then to make it, to give it that glam that you guys like. Yes. We love glam. Put some organic rose petals in here. I don't know if I can move closer to the camera. Yeah. You guys can see it. Oh, I can see it. So it's wow. pretty much, um, people use them for tea, so mm -hmm. it's edible, and we just top it up. You know, mm -hmm. you can put as much as you like on top. Is that something you can eat afterwards? I'm sorry? Is that for just decoration, or can you eat it? You can eat it. I mean, um, they're edible, but for wow. most part, we use them for decorations. Yeah. And we top it off with... A little bit of the edible 24k gold so i put the little gold in this glitter one i don't know if you guys can see it it's stored in there so it's just i can see it for you know like yeah. cap and shake oh my and god i have a rose gold straw right here just for today that's just so beautiful it off, you know? so oh my goodness here. i wish i could take around so you can see the <laughs> That is beautiful. I literally wish I could take it through the camera right now. I don't want to give it to you right now, too. Uh, when I'm in San Diego and everything's safe and everyone's healthy, I will be there and I will be drinking one of those. <laughs> They're really delicious. It tastes almost like a chai tea, you know, with a little okay. bit of the rose infused in it, rose flavor and honey. Oh, my goodness. And you then, are let me see. We're gonna, I'm going to put it somewhere where you can kind of see it. I think that's going to be tricky, so I'm just going to move it to okay. the side. And then we want to do the matcha. Yes, so now we're going to make a matcha glamour, gals. Tears. For time purposes, too, I already pre-made the matcha for you guys. So I used the little matcha whisk, and I put it in a little container. Okay. And again, we're gonna do the first layer, so we're gonna pour that. Okay. There. Get that dark green on it. Okay, and so the, the next layer is gonna be the ice. Yep, because the ice helps to separate the layers, right? Yes. Yes. It really gives that layer effect the more ice you add to it. Okay. And we're add a little bit of ice in there. We're done with that. And next, we're going to do milk. Or you guys can do coconut milk. That would go really well with a nice matcha. Oh, wow. Then I've never had made... matcha before. I'm sorry? I've never had matcha before. What does it taste like? It's like, um, it's very earthy. It's okay. pretty much green tea, but it's in powder form. So you get more of the antioxidants. You get more of the benefits to it. Oh, it's cool. actually really, really good. You have to come try it one of these days. You know, it yeah. has a really unique flavor. Okay. So, again, we use a spoon. Mix okay. it up a little bit just to make sure that we get that nice little ombre color to everything. I love it. See that? I love it. Then we leave like about an inch or two ounces of 
room at the very top and we go ahead and add a little bit of the toasted almond tea. Oh, and again, this doesn't yeah. steal a lot of the flavors on the matcha. Once you mix it, all your taste is all you're gonna taste is just the matcha at the bottom. Okay. So this is the second drink, and if that you wanna beautiful. glam it up a little bit, you can yeah. always put the rose on top. Yeah. And a little bit of gold. We don't serve it like that. I'm just doing yeah. it especially for you guys right now, so you guys can see that. So we have the yeah. other drink right here. You can try to see the back of it, or I'll let you see yeah. it a little bit better. Oh my goodness. We have a straw right here. So, that was incredible. Thank oh, you so, so much. So honestly, I am so excited that you were able to show us how you do that and, and help give some inspiration for how we can make these pink drinks at home for the Glamour Girls volunteers for their pre glammies mocktail. They're going to be so excited. Like literally, when I was planning this segment, um, the, my producer, Shannon, she was like, I want to try this right now. <laughs> I know, I hope you guys can try it too, but it's so easy to make, you know. Um, the toasted almond tea, you just have to get, like, dry, dry beets, and that what gives it that bright pink color. What we like about it is that there's no food coloring in it at all. Like, all the colors, the vibrant green, the vibrant pink that you guys use too for, <laughs> for your um, event, mm -hmm. it's all natural. That's amazing. That's so great. And it, it honestly does look so easy to make. And um, if you just joined, we're going to put the live up. It'll be up for 24 hours. You'll be able to check it out. Write down the ingredients. Get a little get your, get your pink notebook out, get your pink pen, write it down. And uh, you'll be able to make this at home and help celebrate uh, the Glammies from your couch with a little <laughs> rose gold milk tea latte and a pink matcha. And honestly, Claudia, thank you so, so much for joining. I heard that your internet was down at the store. So I honestly am so thankful for you to be joining and, and taking the time out of your day to show us this. And a lot of people have been saying how yummy it looks. So when we're in San Diego, we'll have to come and get, get the real thing. But for right now, we're gonna, we're gonna have our pink drinks. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have it for Saturday. So, well, thank you for inviting me, Christina. Have fun the rest of your day. And thank you so, I'll so see you guys later. No problem. And I hope to see you at the Glammies. You'll be able to watch virtually. I will. We'll be following along. Great. Thanks, Claudia. Bye. Have a beautiful day in sunny San Diego. <laughs> you too. Bye -bye. See you. Bye. -bye. <laughs>